How about you? Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. Today we're going to put a barn door on the barn. But make sure you watch the whole video because I actually go over some lessons learned. I made a few mistakes while I was doing it and I want to make sure that you can avoid these mistakes when you make your barn door. Okay, let's get started. So we are going to take this wall and that will become the door.
All right, let's go over just a couple of the lessons learned that I had uh, when I was building the barn door. All right, the construction I don't have any lessons about, but this is something that I think I need to tell you about. The distance between the bottom of this roller and the top of this door needs to be uh, greater than the distance of this bar. So whatever bar you have, this is an inch and a half, so I've got a two inch gap. Well, when I put the, when I originally attached the roller onto the door, I only put it at about an inch and a half gap. So there was no play in here. And so that the door rubbed against the top of the bar. So make sure that you accommodate the space for this, all right? And that way you don't have to um, redrill your holes for this. Also, and I'm on the ladder here, so let me be careful. Another thing you want to be considered of is this door stop. All right, this is your door stop. But what you need to notice is this. All right, so I've got the door stopping where I need it to stop, but then I was like, well, dadgummit. Uh, my doggone bolt is here. So this, this piece slides across here. So guess what? I had to take this back off, then slide the door stop, and then reattach the bolt. So it's just more work to do. And so if you if you know your door is going to stop after this, now if you stop on the on, you know in this particular example, if you stop to the left side of this bolt, you're fine. But if you stop to the right side of it, you need to put this door stop on first and then attach your screw. So that's two big lessons learned. Now let me take you to the third lesson learned. Let me climb off this ladder. All right, the next lesson learned is, you can see I told you about the, the, the miscalculation there on, the, on the, the height of the roller compared to the bar. Well, that's the other hole that I drilled. And so, you know, you can see I had to take it up about a half inch or so. But if you notice, if you look at this bolt here, it's been sawed off. Well, Hank, why in the world are you sawing bolts off? Well, let me show you. You gotta have the gap between that bolt and the house and so you know as this thing travels it's got to have clearance clearance to attach that so you can see the top one up there and if, so what in my case was i had three inch bolts that ran through here and they stuck out too far and they were hitting the wall and so what i had to do to accommodate that was actually cut it off with a sawzall door finished and uh, you know I showed you some of the lessons learned uh, as we were putting the barn barn door up you know we do things <laughs> we do things a little backwards around here right we're turning this cottage into a barn and we've turned a barn into our house so you know hey you never know what's going to happen here at Hamiltonville farm so glad you watched the video we hope you found it informative uh, it's not an instructional video it was not a how-to video it was just you know it's how it was how we did it so not necessarily how you have to do it so anyway we appreciate you tagging along and uh, thanks for coming out Thanks for checking out the barn door. And as always, there's going to be a barn pop up over here. Please click on that to subscribe. Tell your friends about us. Share it. And you can follow us on all our social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, at Hamiltonville Farm. You take care, and we'll see you on the next video.